Okay, guys, I started taking this thing apart before I started to shoot this video. And if I'd have known what I found out when I started taking it apart, I would have started the video earlier. So I tried to kind of halfway reassemble this so I can show you guys some things. This is a guitar a friend of mine had. It was, uh, of course, you see it says Fender on the headstock. Obviously, this is not a Fender. Um, but he was told it was built from Mighty Might parts and had Fender pickups in it and a few other things about it. Um, I'm taking a look at it right now. Now, I noticed that, and I got the knobs and everything off of it already because I had stripped it down a few minutes ago. But it was wired backwards because um, the volume was actually here and the tones were up here. Um, so that was an issue. I noticed the switch didn't work too good. It had a fender, um, neck plate on the back of it. It looks cool. It was fairly light. It's got strap locks on it. It's a 22 fret neck and uh, it's large headstock. It's got locking tuners on it and, uh, it's kind of, it looks, yeah, it's kind of got like a, a checking on it. I think they did that to try to make it look older. They didn't do anything like that to the body. Um, it's just discolored some. I don't know how old that body might be. But, uh, they, but they did look like they tried to age it. Now, the frets and all on this thing look good. I don't know, there's no issue with the frets. The nut seems fine. It seems cut well. Um, that's all fine. But guys, let me show you some things about this thing. First off, this tremolo is the cheapest tremolo. Now, I, I took a little piece off of it already over here because I needed that for another guitar. But, you know, I, this was, you know, I got another, I got a Mexican one I'm going to put on it that's a lot better than this. Um, but in any event, so this is trash. All right. You know, here's the jack. I think the jack's fine. You know, I'll reuse it. But guys, let's let's look at this now. And I'm going to take this step at a time. Now, this says genuine Fender. It might be a genuine Fender pick guard. I don't think it is. But let's just assume it is. Now, it does have Fender Custom Shop pickups. And they got cloth wiring on it. I don't know exactly what these are. Um, I was thinking they were, might have been Texas Specials is what I was told. Usually when I see these, they usually have dots on them, if like a red and a blue and a yellow, I think, if they're Texas special. I don't know, but they do have custom shop on them, and they are decent pickups. <laughs> well, guys, look at these pots. I mean, this is like dinky little stuff, okay? Just, just tiny little pots. They weren't all that good. Look at this cheap switch. Now, this is something like out of a Squire or something, okay? This cheap little switch. Um, and the switch didn't work too good. All right. And look at this. You know, that's a nice grounding job they've done here. I mean, this looks kind of like crap. Usually you run these things to the pot. Uh, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just trashy looking. I, I don't know. But this is the good parts. I mean, this is the good parts. So now I removed the neck. And what do you see? Look at this. What in the hell is this? It's like they just routed, I mean, they just chiseled this out in the neck pocket. Look at that. It's just missing. All right. Now, I don't know who made this body. It's not marked. But this is why I was saying, I don't know if this is a real Fender pick guard. Look how they hacked the pick guard. Look at that. They had to hack this pit guard all up to get it to fit. Now, I don't know why they had to do that if this was a real Fender pit guard. I got some Fender pit guards and they fit without having to do that. So, this has this little sticker on here saying genuine Fender. I doubt that's a genuine Fender pit guard. Um, so, anyway, uh, and, you know, now this is kind of nice. You see how that how it has aged and everything and, and all and you know it's got a nice patina to it. But this is crazy. You know, this is crazy. What I mean people this this kind of stuff just irritates hell out of me. Um but anyway. 
Now, here's the neck. You know, we got the neck off. Oops, sorry. We got the neck off of it here. And uh, it is a Mighty Might neck. Okay. It is a Mighty Might neck. And the neck looks good. I mean, the neck's probably the, one of the best things about the guitar. Now, I don't know what kind of lock and tuners these are, but they are lock and tuners and they seem to work pretty well. There's a closer view of the headstock. You know. And it's got some checking in it, which actually looks kind of neat. Now, these locker tuners aren't staggered. So, they are cheaper locker tuners, I suppose. Alright. But anyway, it did come with strap locks. It's got the Shaler strap locks on it. You know. They probably paid more for those strap locks than they did for the bridge. You know. But anyway, I haven't taken these screws out yet. I didn't like the way they painted this in here black all right the claw i don't know if you can see this guys but when you back out on this claw this screw is in like at an angle going down you know or up towards the top so if you back off of this much you couldn't even put the cover on it if you wanted to it's crooked and you know people can't even screw straight um I don't know guys uh my buddy didn't have much money in this at all um you could probably part it out for what he has in it or maybe slightly more according to how much this neck's worth but uh it's a, it's a good thing he didn't have that much in it and the guy he got it from um the guy he got it from I think it a lot in it uh, and I don't know who put this thing together for him it is a 22 fret neck um, but uh, this is just you know telling you guys to kind of beware watch out you know watch out what what you're buying you know um, and if you don't know on these parts guitars or maybe any of them really they can tell you it's a fender and it not be but just be careful and uh, make sure you get somebody that knows a little bit about them to look at them before you buy them. Um, so maybe this doesn't happen to you. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye.